Good morning, everybody. John Chick here. Just about to get a workout underway here. Had uh, uh, someone come by this morning for a workout. Just took them through it. They're my uh, motivation today. Uh, you guys see I'm wearing my active prayer band today. And I uh, got my grandma on there. Just uh, uh, was at my grandma's funeral. 99 and a half years old. So she will be my drive today, my inspiration, uh, part of my active prayer. And uh, you'll see today's workout is in every other two minutes on the minute. I have five squats. Um, and then the next two minutes I have a 400 meter run. So we got five rounds of squats. We're gonna only do four rounds of running. And then I got a Tabata afterwards of uh, rope uh, pulling the rope and uh, up downs not burpees up downs are my core exercise so I'll try and get you involved in both those but just wanted to uh, have you be with me and in, in my inspiration today so we're gonna get the time started I got 10 seconds So I will not film the whole workout. I will get you guys back when I'm done here. Uh, I don't have to run until 18 minute mark. So I get some rest, but that run in between will get you. Uh, I caught up uh, with my guest this morning, but man, she did awesome. It was highly motivating and excited to get after this workout. But again, my grandma, I know is with me today and I can't wait to share more about her awesome services and uh, what she meant to me. All right, so I just wanted to interject real quick. I just finished four rounds. I got 421 left. I paused it so I could talk. As soon as four minutes is on, I'm on my left set of squats. Again, that was five sets of five squats. And then in between each set, I had two minutes to get a 400 meter run. Normally I came in uh, about a minute 45 left um, so anyway or yeah let me get this last set even when you're tired like this you gotta make sure you focus on technique ah. should always have something that inspires you, motivates you. I try to think of something different all the time. But my grandma, God rest her soul, God bless her soul, uh, was with me today and I needed every bit of her. And so blessed by her and her love. If you guys can imagine, 99 years of age, what all she's seen, very parents, brothers and sisters and children and all her friends over the years she was due her rest I thank God she didn't suffer much she lived a great life taught me much and may we always be blessed by the elderly but be thankful respect them we live in a society that kind of just keeps going I think sometimes we forget our, our youngest and our oldest. And man, not only did they, are they part of the reason we're in this world, 
regardless of your relationship with them, we owe them that. But so much wisdom they have, so much she taught me, so much I'm blessed by. The ceremony was awesome. I got to see her at uh, the funeral. I went with my two oldest kids to celebrate her life. And it truly was a celebration of life. When you believe and you know that Jesus Christ is risen and what he promised us. Am I sad? Was I angry that I didn't get to hug her anymore? I didn't get to give her that one last kiss. But I had no regrets in my life with her because I always honored her, loved her, and knew how much she loved me. But I know where she rests, where she's going. My hope is in the Lord. And I know that the day she passed, there was a great celebration on the other side. It was awesome. It was glorious. She got to see so many she loved. She doesn't suffer anymore, and she's with the risen one. And uh, that gives me all the comfort in the world. Still sad I miss her, but so happy about where she's at. And can't wait. Hope I live a long life and get to help bless my children and be blessed by them and keep passing the blessing. But I know this is but a short time. And my eternal rest, my eternal joy and happiness is on the other side. And I can't wait to be there. Thank you guys as always for tuning in. I now have a Tabata, you guys, of pulling ropes and doing up downs. My up downs will be as a plank. And then with rope, I'm not gonna actually do a rope climb, but just pull myself up to standing and lower myself back down. You could also pull a weight or a kettlebell over a pull-up bar if you can't do your body weight. It's 20 seconds continuous work, 10 seconds rest between each exercise for a total of four minutes. God bless everybody.